If you're interested in dance photography, you may be looking around Instagram and seeing all of these awesome photos and wondering, how did they do that? That looks impossible. Actually, it's really pretty easy, and I'm gonna show you how. The first step to getting a great dance photo is using a great ballerina. Sorry guys, but ballerinas go viral, dudes usually don't. Once you've got your ballerina, you have to figure out what she should wear. I'm a fan of street clothing, or a combination of a leotard with street clothing. You want to make sure it's bright so her clothing doesn't blend into a dark background, and that the color will pop on camera. You also want to make sure that the clothing fits extremely well. Sometimes the stretching can cause a little bit of distraction. She's got to be wearing point shoes or bare feet. Ballerinas are trained to have beautiful feet, so take advantage of that. If you're going to be running in the middle of the street, you're going to need a lot of energy. Make sure you get a large coffee. One of the biggest decisions you always have to make in photography is which lens to choose. For dance photography, you can almost never go wrong with a long lens. I prefer a 70 to 200 millimeter lens, shooting as long as possible at f2.8 or f4 if possible. If you shoot in an urban environment and you've got a bunch of stuff, make sure you have somebody there to watch it while you're in the middle of the street. Usually when you select a location, try to find an urban environment. Urban shots tend to go more viral than dance photos in nature, which is a little bit more predictable. Also, you want to get the dancer around a lot of people or with a lot of action because it just makes it look cooler and they have something to stand out from. Sometimes, if you want to get a great shot, you got to take some risks. Right now, I'm in one of the busiest areas of New York City. Why am I here? Because look at that gap between the buildings. I want to get her leg in that gap. So in order to do that, she's got to be right here in the middle of a cross street. Cars coming from here, cars coming from there. Everyone's pissed off, but it might make an awesome photo. Yeah. OK, and go. Good. And now you have to figure out what is her pose? Emphasize her flexibility, her lines, her athleticism, her overextension. If you're saying wow when you're taking it, people will say wow when they're looking at it. Go for classic poses, arabesques, grand jeté. This is going to be crazy because there's traffic all four directions. There's no way we're going to get this shot without her being in the middle of the street when cars are coming from somewhere. Whenever you're taking a dance photo, don't just take the photo, document the process for social media too. Boom. So if you're going to take a risky photo, make sure to document that it was risky. It's scary out here. If you just show the photo, they're going to think, that was easy, they had a permit. We don't have a permit. We don't have permission. This is nuts. She might die. She seriously might die. <laughs> you're not going to die. I'll tell you when. OK, hold it, hold it. Go. Go, 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 right in there. So you need a ballerina who's not afraid. Dancers are usually fearless, a little bit reckless. I love that. I am too. Before you even start, let them know, we're going to take some risks. Don't say no, say maybe. One thing I noticed with a lot of dance photos is the ballerina is put against a background that sucks them in and they disappear. You want to separate the dancer from the background. The easiest way to do that is to find some empty space or some white space. We first get out there and she stands in between the two manhole covers and then I realize, wait, if she's in the center of the manhole cover, compositionally that makes a lot of sense. So we made that switch real quick. You gotta always be aware of your compositional elements when you're shooting from top to bottom. You're never gonna get it right on the first try. It's always about the details. Be specific, move an inch to the left, an inch to the right, back, tall. Go to different angles, lay down, stand up, try a lot of different things and then you'll find the thing that's right. Bam! Oh my god, you nailed those! You nailed those! You put all these elements together, you get a shot like this. This is the kind of photo that people are gonna love on Instagram. I have 100,000 followers on Instagram. If a post is really successful, I'll get about 5,000 likes and about 20 comments. Let's see how this one does. 